This video about Google Docs is from a very first day in the STEM classroom. I have about 10 students in the computer lab. I sent them a link to this Google Doc and I asked them to brainstorm what the rules for our STEM class should be. So I wrote down what I wanted from them and you can see in the top right hand corner as they click on the link I sent them they're given access to this document and we're all sharing it all seeing what's happening on our own computers in real time. Now my first clue here is there are six students signed in and not one of them has started writing anything yet. So it tells me something was wrong. I actually didn't give them the correct access. Although I shared it with them in the top right hand corner, they could only view it. I needed to change it so they could edit it. And you can find that in the blue box with share. So once I did that, then they started writing. And you can see each of the icons is anonymous because they're not signed in using an email account. But if they are signed into Google with an email account, you can see their names there. And I think that's good practice because it holds them accountable for what they write. Because you'll see at the end, nothing goes away. And they need to know that, I believe. So now the students start writing. But it's a little cluttered and it's difficult because they don't know where to put their cursor because so many people are on the exact same document at the exact same time. But I think it's a fun exercise because they can realize how hard it is. And pretty soon everything including what I wrote, is gone. They get confused and just started uh, deleting. So we switch gears and I asked them again to please write down what the class rules are and I created a table and I asked for each of them to write in a different line. So if they saw that somebody was already in one line, in one row, they needed to move to a different row. And then we started to see some progress. I use this to make lists. Uh, I also use this if I'm trying to assign people. So if people were doing presentations on different states or different famous people, you could do a table and put the name next to the um, person. They can sign up. So we start to get a little productivity and then people start messing around and things get deleted again. So the last thing I'm going to show you is that on Google Docs, it saves about every three seconds and nothing is really ever gone. If you go to File and then see Revision History over on the right, you'll see all the major changes that were done and what time and, again, if they're signed in, who did them. And I choose the revision I want to find again and then I say Restore this revision and as soon as I did that you'll see it turns black and on everybody's screen magically all of their information came back. So those are some ideas on how to use and not use Google Docs.